My name is Obi from EV is the Future. Today we are going to be reviewing the Neta S from Hozan. This car was released in 2022 as one of the flagships of Hozan. We're going to start with the exterior, the design of the exterior. Then from the exterior, we're going to move over to the interior. Basically, this car has four versions. This is the hybrid version, which has the oil and the electric. So this side is for the oil packs and this other side is for the electric charging. The Neta S comes with this cat whiskers LED bulb. This is one of the newest designs from Hozon and honestly, I think it's very, very unique. This is equipped with counting. We have one, two, three, four sensors in front with this 360 degrees camera in front. You have this cute grill. You can see the radiator from inside because there are lots of Chinese EV cars coming up right now and Hozon is not relenting on design. They are focused more on being one of the top the competing against BYD, Tesla and Li. The design looks like a hatchback. Uh, it has the spotty feeling and you get this running LED light bulb. It runs to the side. This is somehow a common design in China. I've seen some, a lot of cars with this kind of tail lightning. And coming to the sensors, we have counting. We have one, two, three, four, five sensors for this back and also we have two cameras. I think this is a 360 degrees camera. I don't know how this is going to look from the inside. We're going to watch that together and see how the view is from the inside of the car. But looking here, this is a little bit small. And you get this running LED bulb. There's also a camera. I think these are two cameras.
we have one camera, two cameras, and we have another third camera here. This is coupled with one sensor here and another sensor around the back. The Nita S comes with a 19 inch wheel. This is the first variant. This is the pure black version of the rim. This car opens in two ways. It's very, very comfortable, I would say. Although the next piece, maybe it's because I'm, I'm not that tall, so I don't know why, but it looks... There should be a way to adjust the steering wheel. I very much like it. Now you can see we have three LEDs. We have one LED here, we have a second LED here, we have a third LED. So this is the 13.3 inch LED. Now this is a 17.2 inch LED and we have the 12.3 LED. Get this luxurious feeling at first. The Neta S has the panoramic roof that spans from here up to the front. It should be around 1.3 meters. Then the leg spacing, for the leg spacing, it's really, really comfortable, I would say. It's very comfortable. You get this, uh, there's a lot of leg space. Probably when three people are sitting, it looks a little bit cramped. So we can try to see. This looks expensive. Now, what does this do? There are buttons here. Now, this is the cup holder just comes out like this. Now I'm push, pulling this backward. Yeah, it's actually really comfortable. Um, let me see if they have this uh, for babies. You know, if you have a baby, you can. Okay, uh, there is for the baby. You can hook in the baby trolley or whatever here. So. And it's actually really easy to pull up, just pull up. And there are two of them. There's one here and there is another one here. That just goes in here. We have to look at this other side. You get one USB-C port, just like you have in front, and one USB, both for charging. So you have two, 
but you have to press this to come out. And you have Wow, see how the door opens. <laughs> so this gives you this like uh, spot car look. Once you just press the brake, you know, the, the dot comes down. Wow. It's on drive now, you know, this is the knob for changing it. Uh, if you move it here, this is it's on reverse right now. So once you change it to reverse, you can see the whole cameras and everything. This is actually really, really comfortable to drive. Okay. Going to go left. Oh, where you can do The braking. Mm. <laughs> so the braking, the braking is so so easy. Once you just like, if you press it too much, like you're driving a patrol car, you're going to have an issue. The braking distance of this car from 100 kilometers to zero uh, kilometers per hour is just 33 meters. So it's super, super, super fast. So I'm going to go to drive this car on an express road. So we, let's see, let's test the speed, you know. They said from zero to uh, 60 or 100 kilometers per hour is in 3.9 seconds. So we're going to test that today. And the sound, I can't, I can't believe like there's no sound because there's no gear or anything. There's no sound on this car. Like you can't hear, you're, the only thing you're hearing is just this electric pause, lit, a little electric pause. And it's really, it's, it's really soft on the ear. You know, it's not as if you're driving anything and the massage is still ongoing. So I'm also hearing the massage, the chair massage sound.
So we are in Chongqing, China. This is the Yubei district. So there are lots of car companies here. So we're going to be reviewing this. So remember to like and subscribe below. It takes about two seconds to go from one, one point something seconds to go from 30 to, to 60 kilometers. So let's test from 60 to about 100. And the braking on this car is really, really unique. Position. Okay, position. Jeez, or? Okay. So I'm sorry I can't speed so much because there are lots of traffic uh, cameras and traffic lights on this road. So probably in our next review, probably I'm going to have this car and somewhere I can speed so much. Uh, Jizo. Jizo. Okay. Okay. Uh, Jizo. Okay. 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 Okay。那个导航可以配合 Oh, okay. So, okay. So, okay. The only sound I can still hear is basically just apart from the trafficator sound, is still the massage on the chair. Like basically, this car has uh, the sound is so 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 suppressed that you can't even feel it that much the responsiveness of the screen I actually like the responsiveness of the screen. It responds really well. It doesn't lag. It moves uh, a little bit lag though. Yeah, I noticed a little bit lag. That's it.